Hello and welcome to the April edition of Cyclone Weekly's Tech of the Month. And we are moments away, really, from what Paris Roubaix and the the ultimate classics. Love it. Any Love predictions? Sags. 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 I want Sags to win because he's got the best glasses. He has. What have you? What have you got, Rupert? What have I got? Yeah. I've got a product. Peter Sagan's glasses. Oh. So you'll actually find me winning Paris Roubaix this year. Nice. What, because you could see everything? Yeah, you can see everything. I can see terrible things. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, these are... You see dead people. (laughs) (laughs) The 100% Speedcraft glasses. Um, So they are the glasses of Peter Sagan, as a very recognisable, of course. I think they're quite a statement, but you pull it off. Thanks, man. Does it go with my beard? I think they do. I think you need a beard for those glasses. As you say, Oliver, they're, they're... truly are a statement but they, they actually work as a pair of sunglasses you would feel, whilst riding if you turned up to your, like a club ride in them you'd probably get a bit of uh, a little bit of you know stick, but you're going to win the yeah. club ride because you're wearing those yeah obviously it's like when you turned up in your Giro yeah. helmet the hat, visor, the visor on. on yeah it's like that so you've worn a lot of like other sunglasses yeah I've how worn... do they compare in terms of not, not the looks or anything just the function the function Probably most like the Oakley Jawbreakers, I'd say. Um, In terms of like the fit and the... The fit and how big the lenses are. These are some of the biggest lenses I've used. Do they move on your face when you're like sprinting? No, no movement. And like I have a quite... Because I've got quite a skinny face. I have a lot of problem if I look down at like my cycling computer, glasses will often like sit forward, like they move Mm. off my nose. Mm. But I didn't have any problem with these. Uh, It's got really good peripheral vision because the lenses are massive. So you can't see the top plastic bit if you look up, nice. which is good. So if, like you, if you're sprinting, that's not getting in your way if you're on the drops, which yeah. is really nice. So I used these just for an hour spin on yeah, the Yeah, you nicked somebody. them, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I saw yeah. them on your desk. All right, I'm not <laughs> those. Them. Um, but they, do, they feel massive on your face, they don't do. they? Yeah. There's no getting away with how big they actually yeah. feel. But I didn't notice any steaming when I was waiting at a set of lights of, or misting of the glasses. No. Uh, I found them quite comfy and they're not heavy at all. Just no, they are remarkably light on the face, actually. Mm. Um, they're not, obviously, they're not full framed. Um, 100% do do a full framed version, which has plastic, and they do look very built, like quite overbuilt. Yeah. Um, but I think these are a nice balance between that. Do Oakley make their lenses or do they, they do, do they make their own lenses? So these are also. 100% lenses in here. They don't spec Zeiss lenses or anything like you get in POC glasses, I think, do. So these are cool lenses of 100%'s own making um, with a coating to protect from water and dirt and stuff like that, and UV protection as well. And also these are these rubber tips, there's a, they're really good for sitting on helmets, um, which is one thing I've noticed is they're really grippy mm. on the side of helmets. Nice. Nice, yeah, we like them. What have you brought, Si? Yeah, I am going to go next because I'm, I'm really concerned about what Oliver is going to do when he presents his product. Course, but it's good, got... I don't think we, we pointed out that it is our three year anniversary, yeah. isn't it? And we should cue, cue some, some look backs. That bad haircuts from me and, and me. And just me not being there. Here at Cycling Weekly, we get to test the latest tech. From the most up to date innovation to something as simple as a set of tie levers. So each month, we will bring you our four favourites that we think you should know about. Hello and welcome to the Cycling Weekly Tech of the Month, where we have our Christmas special here. I like anything with lasers. I've selected the Wahoo Kicker Smart Trainer. Which is very, very heavy. Look at this box. What happens when you open it? Check that out. That's where your money's going, really, isn't it? (laughs) Here we go, the wheels man. You know how people always joke that newsreaders are naked from the waist down? Yes. Well, these are Endura's Pro SL shorts. Uh, I'll sit down now. The answer to your question, Oliver, I have brought the Cyclic Cyclic? Fly 12, um, which is a cycling uh, camera and light in one. You know, considering some lights out on the market are as big as this, but this doubles up as, as a camera as well. So the light, has 10 modes, would you believe? Blimey. Um, and max output is 600 lumens, so it's a decent light. 
It's not bad at all, really. Mm. It's quite a sort of generous beam pattern. Um, it kind of splurges out and gives you a bit of vision. But you can dim the flash, so it could be a, like a high uh, lumen output flash or low. You know, you can really conserve the battery if you need. Um, the battery life, uh, you know, the best outcome you're going to get is about eight hours, according to uh, Cyclic, which isn't too bad, considering you're running video yeah. as well as uh, the light um, so it's quite impressive where's the storage then? is it memory card or memory card um, which doesn't come with the uh, unit itself um, which I found a bit annoying but that's that's classic sort of every action cam GoPro would do the same chargeable by USP USB C um, which is like fast charging but if you plug that into your laptop it takes eight hours yeah. to fully charge. Does it have a special plug? That uh, it doesn't come with a plug, but you can use you know, your iPhone, you know, yeah. one or you know, a USB AC um, adapter plug, um, which charged it in two and a half hours. Um, so it does take. It still takes a while. quite a long time, doesn't it? Yeah, um, which is a concern if you're at work or you take it to work and you want to charge it. You've got eight hours to charge you know, your life. You've got to make sure you do a full hours. day yeah. by your desk, otherwise it's not being charged. Um, so yeah, little storage card comes separate at your cost. It's, it's basically restricted to the front of your bike being mm. a front light. Um, the mounts are only mounts for the um, handlebar or stem. I don't think it does stem one. Is it Just on bar. bar or is it like an out front mount? It's on bar. Um, so it says you can mount it above the handlebar or below. Um, below is really neat actually because visually you can't see it um, and it's tucked out of the way. So it's quite smart and sort of sleek. Yeah, how much does it weigh? It's around 200 grams um, claimed. Um, I haven't actually weighed it. Pretty chunky. Myself. It's chunky, it's, yeah. Not as chunky yeah. as the last one though. No, nowhere near. And it's, it, it does look all right actually. It's, it's, not, it's not offensive at all, which the other one did with the separate colours, um, etc. Um, and it's got a few nice safety features in there. So you can, you can link it to the, uh, sorry, I'll look at my phone, but you, there's an app a cyclic app that you can link it to and change the settings. Um, it's got a nice little like black box feature, so like sort of similar to airplanes and when they crash, unfortunately crash. Um, you can have it set so it saves it and locks it safe, um, so you can access that. Um, you know after it's been damaged or um, you know someone tries to delete it. I don't know, but you know it, it's a nice little safety feature. Uh, it's got an alarm on there as well. Does it? So it, so it doesn't shoot. Continuously, is it shoot? No, on, it, shoots it, shoots, on it shoots on a loop. So you get sections of up to f 15 minutes, I want to say. Um, but the old one, it'll just shoot on 12 minute loop. But this one, you can actually change how, how long that loop is. And you have to for. start it every time, or does it like loop? So when you turn then, on the unit, and then loops. so once you turn it on, um, it'll start recording straight away. And then you can run through the modes, the 10 modes. Um, and then you can use the light without recording or you can use the recording stuff without the light. Okay. Um, so it's up to you how you want to use it really. Um, with a lot of people wanting to run daytime lights now, it's actually quite a nice feature to, to have. Yeah, I think it would be really good for commuters really, wouldn't it? 100%. The last thing about it really was probably the price, which is about 250 quid. Um, I've seen it about on Evans, for example, for like 230. Um, quite a lot of money, um, but far cheaper than buying an action yeah. camera and a separate light. Um, so if you're commuting or you're riding your bike and you just want an added safety feature and added safety of a light, I can't see why you wouldn't use it, to be honest. Yeah. Oliver. Yeah? What have you brought this week, mate, my friend? Oh, I've got a box, haven't I? So I've got a nice big black wrapper box that has nothing in it. What? So this is for the cargo bib shorts. Rafa's new cargo bib Brand shorts. new. Have you heard of them? I've heard of them. Yep. Uh, a friend of mine, Neil Phillips, um, who's into transcontinental, does very, very well on the ultra distance type stuff. Um, he was part of like the development of this product. Um, so I was straight on the phone to him. <laughs> right. Well, I've got them on. Oh God, here we go. Here we go. Yes. I can't believe you're doing this, are you? Bang. There we go, I need to, I need a bit, a bit of a tan, but yeah, I've got them on. So, these shorts, right, what's special about them? Can you well, at least take your trousers off? Like, it's, I'm it's leaving them like that. I'm fine, this is very disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. So this is what it was like before I joined. Yeah, huh? it was, yeah. <laughs> a lot of the time it was, yeah. <laughs> Rafa's, 
Rafa's new shorts. So these are aimed at, yeah, the person doing the transcontinental, the person doing sort of adventure, bikepacking, that kind of thing, endurance riding. And consequently, they've designed them with some cool features. So the first thing I should point out is they've got loads of good reflectives on and they make use of a really cool new fabric, which is a lighter gauge version of their shadow fabric, which is on their shadow jersey, which we, which is, we love that yes, jersey, that's a great was in product. And it's a choice. Yeah, so by being a bit lighter gauge, this is, they're not as hot and sweaty and can be worn on hot days as well, because the shadow is quite warm kit, like you wouldn't really want to wear it above sort of, I don't know, 14 degrees, 12 degrees, something like that. But the, the big feature they have on them is they've got pockets on the side. So, I mean, this, I was trying to work out what you could use this for. I mean, you could put your phone in, but I mean, I mean, your, a banana's gonna fit in there and then maybe some, some clementines as well. I mean, it just all fits Mate, in pretty it's all, good. it's only just fitting in there. Well, <laughs> it's quite, it's, it's all, it's, it's, I mean, all, it's almost popping out. It's quite a, I mean, it's quite a sizable banana I've got there, but you could always put one in the, I mean, there's pocket on the other side as well, so you can use that. And there's some pockets on the, on the back. Oh, is there pockets up the back, is there? There is like some little ones on the back. I've got my microphone in there. There right is now. a little pocket on the back, yeah. Yeah, so you can put your phone in there or your wallet or whatever. It's like a. Could you sit down? Yeah. Uh, yep. What I really want to do now is punch that on the well, side of your leg you of. and just pop it. It reminds me of. Uh, <laughs> it's like in Napoleon Dynamite when. <laughs> hey, Napoleon, give me some of your tarts. <laughs> get your own tater get tarts. <laughs> get, get your own tarts. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm that's gonna what try and be a bit serious here. Yeah. But yeah, I had I, I took the mic. I took the mic out of, of Neil because he was involved in the photo shoot as well. Um, but this is the thing, right? Right. You might think I'm being childish here, okay? But I'm pure But if I go in the box, so in the box that we got sent with these shorts in, it genuinely has like a press release in there with a picture of a banana. He's got two in there. Yeah. Oh, well, that, we couldn't see that at first. And then we were like, two bananas. he's double bananas. <laughs> he's double bananas. So this is, this is what, it's the banana pot. No, but I have spoken to some people who do do this type of riding. Yeah. And they do say this would actually be really useful. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, as a function sort of thing, especially if you're you riding for such a long time. I get it, I get it. Your sweaty banana. <laughs> That's what it'll be. I mean, I've not done much of this whole um, adventure bikepacking thing, but it's something that I've decided I'm going to do this year. I'm going to give it a go and try something new. And I, it really appeals to, to me on the level of you're doing cycling for the reason why you started cycling. You're going out, you're going exploring, you've got the sense of freedom, adventure, and you're not worried about speed, aero, Strava, watts, none of that. It's just about going somewhere amazing and experiencing that sense of freedom, which is why we all started riding a bike in the first place. So how much do they cost? They cost 195 pounds, which, I mean, that is that's, oh, that's a very brilliant. expensive yeah, pair of shorts. But, you know, Rafa do you sit at the, the, the highest end of, of cycling kit and there's a lot of sort of tech involved in the shorts and you know things like the, the shadow fabric I mean we regard that as a best in class fabric it's expensive fabric but it performs incredibly well. Bike of the month and we've got the giant TCR Advanced 1 which recently won our £2,000 bike group test in Cycling Weekly magazine uh, for being none other than a great all-round bike and um, so the TCR Advanced uh, it's been around for quite a long time now, actually. Um, but it has design features that have, you, we've seen since the early 2000s, really. Um, you, you would expect with the smaller tubes and triangles and various other things, and the smaller frame, I always, obviously ride two sizes smaller than you guys, um, to be really harsh out on the ride and out on the road. But it's not, it's super compliant, it's not at all, super comfortable. So this bike, uh, in particular, costs uh, 1800 quid or a pound under uh, 1799 uh, and for that you get a full Altegra group set uh, mechanical which is very good um, bar the cassette which is 105 which we've recently found out let's is not a get pet, into this a pet peeve of uh, we don't need Rupert we don't Bradley. need any more arguments about this me and Simon had a real Barney about this one that's okay <laughs> I think it's okay to have that um, but obviously you have to 
state that it's a 105 cassette. Um, no sneaking that in. No sneaking that in, uh, which should sort of help keep prices down, yeah. as long as that's passed on to yeah. the uh, consumer. You get a compact um, chain set, which is 5034, 11-up uh, cassette, um, Giant's own brand wheels. And these are tubeless, right? But yeah, they are tubeless. Um, so Giant, on all their carbon bikes, will provide tubeless, ready, and set up wheels and tyres. Uh, so Giant really believe in what tubeless is and what it stands for. I think it's the way forward. So anything carbon um, that they sell, they provide um, to the shop, before you buy it, they'll provide it all set up and all you have to do is add the sealant. About 100 pounds under the Cannondale Cat 12. Um, it weighs slightly more than the Cat 12 um, by 100 or so grams. Um, so this comes out at 7.6 kilos, I think, um, on the scales. And, you know, it's just, it's just nice. You know, the finishing kit is from Giant, including the saddle. Um, I like all the those. On it as well. I really like Giant saddles. All of those well. things help sort of reduce the price sort of incrementally. Um, and they've done a very, very good job. Uh, that's, that's Tech of the Month and Bike of the Month for April. Um, I'm just about to go on holiday. So are you. You're going skiing, aren't you? Yeah, I am. That does not have wheels. The other bombshell is uh, all this time Oliver's flies have been undone. Um, well, that was only for you to see. It's not good. It's why, not are good. Like, why are you like sharing that? That was just our thing. <laughs> <laughs> cool, right. Uh, I think that concludes uh, Bike of the Month and Tech of the Month. Uh, we'll see you next time. How does my beard look? No, it's good, man. This dude was like, gonna shave! I get disappointed with, I, I wish there were more like of those comments. Because they're the best comments, they're like the funny ones. Andrew periodically just likes to message me them with them. Oh mate, I don't need to hear this. <laughs>